for me, um, my favorite player is, I think, um, wow, difficult. I always say, What is that one memorable and amusing moment you've experienced on the football field during a match or a training session? I think when I was younger, a big moment was to play my first Champions League match against my old club, Bayern Munich. This was my first Champions League game. But of course, I have a lot of memories in, in Dortmund in my first game and also um, the goal against Chelsea in Dortmund. Let's talk about your most memorable goal. The best goal I ever scored was, to be honest, uh, in, in Dortmund uh, against Chelsea. Was for me, I think, uh, the craziest goal I, I scored. Growing up, which football player has challenged and inspired your football journey? There was uh, one player I thought for me was the best one. He played for the wrong team, but he was really good. For me, it was uh, Arjen Robben. I really liked him when he was playing, uh, when I was a kid. For me, this guy was, was the, one of the best. If you are to choose a football player to be your teammate, who would it be? My favorite player is, I think, I think the best player in the world is, is Messi. So I think uh, to play with Messi would be great. But uh, if I have to say football who's not playing anymore, I think uh, Ronaldinho will be really great to play with. But I think the best player in the world is uh, Messi. Which African player has won the most Bundesliga titles with Borussia Dortmund? Uh, I'm not sure, but I think I go um, with the third option. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> well, another question for you right there. Which former Borussia Dortmund player went on to coach the Ghanaian national team? This should be the easiest. Yeah, uh, this easy is the first option. <laughs> Otowado, do you get to see him a lot? Yeah, he's always with us in the training. What's your relation with him like? We have a good relationship. He's more with the younger player, but I think uh, he's also a good guy to speak with uh, after the game and to like watch with him in videos the game. And this is what I do with him after every game. So um, I have a good relationship with him. If you could give a nickname to your playing style or your signature move when you score a goal, what would it be? Yeah, I have, I have a signature move. I do uh, like I can show you. I do like this and point to the to the um, camera. This is uh, some uh, inside of with my friends. And this is, I think, one signature move. Now, if you weren't a professional footballer, what career path do you think Karim would have taken? I don't know. To be honest, I would uh, do something like I don't know, policeman or something. I would try to get something like this, but. At the end, uh, if, if the school is, is not good, uh, I will be like um, a normal mechanic or something. <laughs> How do you approach game day mentally and physically? Don't do a lot of stuff. Um, concentrate on the training, have good, have good training. And yeah, on the game day, focus uh, when I step. A lot of water to get fit and uh, be ready to run a lot. That's an excellent choice, Karim. Now to our final question. Can you share, you know, your favorite football memory from your childhood? When I was 11, one of the biggest, no, I think it was the biggest under 11 tournament, but it was like only for clubs in Munich and Bayern. And I played for my old club, Unterhaching, and we had great clubs there. And I think we were the, the underdog. I tried to help my teammates and at the end, I scored a lot of goals. And from there on, I, I thought about myself and becoming maybe a football player and taking things uh, seriously. And maybe because of that, I'm here right now. So um, missed the time when you, was, you, when you were a child. What do you find yourself doing if you are not on the pitch scoring more goals or supporting your team to victory? I try to meet my friends, I try to relax and I think I need that to be the person who I am and the most important is to see my family, my friends and uh, that's it. Where do you picture yourself in the next five years in your professional career? I just want to, to play a good season with Dortmund of course, achieve something with this club 
I have a lot of uh, trust in myself and this season only can be better than last. A lot of things to do. I have to train more hard and play, play better. And this is the most important for me right now. And let's see where I'm in, in five years. What is that one advice you will give to the young lads out there who are, you know, desiring so much to be like Karim Adeyemi? Be happy and do what you love and um, just just work hard. And at the end, uh, if you deserve to get a professional footballer, it will come for sure. That's great, Karim. Um, do you have any words for, you know, your fans? I'm looking forward to go to Africa soon again, to Nigeria. Um, see my people there and uh, I always take care of, of my people also there and I'm very proud uh, to be also a Nigerian boy. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>